Hi, go ahead with questions. Well, it was certainly the best performance statistically. Was the best performance on the tape in the bottom two? Um, I, th I mean, we played well. Uh, I thought our guys really, uh, you know, responded. Uh, first drive, bouncing back off off that, you know, giving up a field goal and, and playing on the road against a, and what a wonderful job they've done with their stadium. While I'm thinking about it, it's a it's a beautiful place. But, um, you know, I just really pleased with our effort for the most part. It was very good. Uh, we tackled extremely well. I think we had nine missed tackles for the game. You know, only one that really hurt us over on their sideline. Um, but. Uh, you know, I just think it, that was probably our most complete game, I would say, to this point. Um, you know, again, against a, an offense that certainly is very capable of, of uh, putting up some numbers. So, uh, proud of our guys. You know, you go through the last two games and <clears throat> having every opportunity in the world to, uh, to win the game, especially on defense, and just didn't get it done. So, for those guys to continue to uh, persevere and push through it, and I'm uh, very proud of them. Well, as, as you – Get later and later in the season. Do, do, do you get to a point where you feel more comfortable calling more stuff as they sure, as they no, learn more so what they're doing? We've we handled things very well. Obviously, you know, moving some guys around. You know, I talked to the team. You know, about I mean, our defense about uh, the defensive line, the unselfish play in the game. You know, we asked them to do some things that were a little unconventional as far as playing against a quarterback that has legs, and, and we're able to constrict the pocket. And, but we've got a lot of unselfish guys. You know, Casanova McKenzie's been playing Mike linebacker now. He's playing multiple spots. Carl Lawson's playing end and buck. You know, Pee Wee Lambert's playing end and inside. Uh, Blake Countess is playing multiple positions. So there's a lot of guys that have really, you know, answered the call as far as, you know, giving up what they need to do to help our football team play better. And, and that's a huge part of, you know, moving forward. Those <coughs> first four games, you forced only three turnovers. But these last five, you forced 11, including nine picks. What's been the difference? Well, I think we've gotten better pressure on the quarterback. I think that that's number one. I think in a, in a situation we've, for some, some different reasons, we've played a little more zone, uh, rolling up on different receivers in the last ball game against Ole Miss, and then we played in, in uh, both situations in zone coverage uh, the other night. You know, well, excuse me, one was in man coverage on third down. That was Blake's interception was a true man. but. Uh, the other ones were in zone. We did a nice job. We've, we've improved our drops underneath. And Justin made, would really drop nice, and that was, that was a very good job on him. Chris against Ole Miss was a very nice drop in the underneath coverage. Uh, we've really improved there. So I think uh, pressure on the passer has been a little better. I don't know that we've, our sacks have gone up, but I don't, I don't get overly concerned with that. It's more about affecting the quarterback and what we can do to do, get that done and then <clears throat> finishing some interceptions, which we dropped some early in the year too. So uh, we've been in position, and I think we've just we've played a little better in those situations. Do you feel you're getting closer to being that consistent defense where you can say we have a good defense by the end of the year? Well, again, I, you know, with, there's far too many inconsistencies until the last ball game to, to say that, in my opinion. I, I think that's a, a far stretch to provide for us right now. We've certainly have improved, but we've improved ourselves from the open week on. We've gotten better each week. And the stats may not indicate that. That's fine. That's, I, I've, I've coached football a long time. I know it's been improvement. Playing blocks, leveraging the ball, doing the things that good defenses do, tackle well. You know, the, the, we've done those things. And uh, we just, uh, maybe statistically at times it hasn't showed, but we've been much improved. <coughs> the red zone in particular is an area where statistically in two weeks ago you're near the bottom of the conference now you've moved up considerably. Has there been something other than just turnovers? Has it been something schematically that's changed? No, we really haven't. I mean, we change a little bit each week based on what the offense does. And so that may change us a little bit each week on what we do down there um, but and who they are. So, uh, you know, certainly the, 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 the overtime against Arkansas doesn't help us as far as the statistically speaking and the red zone. So we needed to play better in those situations. But you know, I don't know that we've changed much, but we do each week based on what the other team does. We may tweak some things based on how – they approach their red zone offenses, and, and uh, but our, our players, we spend a lot of time in the red zone. We, we spend a little bit of time on Tuesday and a, and a lot of time in on Wednesday during practice and Thursday. So each day we spend time in the red zone, and our, our kids understand the importance of playing well down there. And that's a, that ends period 20 also is a, is a red zone period, just the same. What's they, that? A period 20 is a red zone period. Yeah, we, in, we, we, uh, we, we, we hit the in Tuesday and, and uh, excuse me, Wednesday and Thursday's practice is up. Uh, is a high emphasis of red zone work. How's Denver doing? Helpful. Very, very good. Uh, well, his ankle's been not bothering him. 
And, but but I, I think he's progressed each week and done very well. But he has, his ankle has bothered him. Do you have any information on Jeremiah and his injury? He's out, right? You know, obviously, and, and you know, Gus will address that more on Tuesday. But he's definitely out. What did you think of that that play? You know, call targeting and then reverse it. it was I don't have any comment. Well, you had to you had to go deeper, um, guys like Nick Ruffin and Stephen Roberts. What did you see out of them last night? Did some good things. You know, we need to do a better job of communicating and leveraging some things. But I'm very pleased with their performance. They both stepped up and made some nice plays, and certainly are capable of of, of, of that and doing better. And so I'm very pleased with both guys. You have any information on Trey about his status? I, I think he'll be fine this week. You know, we tried his ankle last week and just uh, felt like it would get better as the week went. It did not, and uh, so. We worked him out on uh, Wednesday, didn't feel good about it. We tried it even again on Thursday, and didn't feel good about it. And those other guys have gotten all the reps at practice and felt like they deserved the opportunity. So uh, he did move around a little bit with us tonight, and we'll, we'll kind of we'll see how it goes through the week. So, but based on tonight, I would think he'd be able to go. You spoke about Nick Ruffin last Wednesday about that you'd need him, and he steps in, in that starting role and is productive. What, what do you think of this play? I thought he played solid football. I really do. I think he and Steven both, Tim Irvin as well. We really rotated those three guys with Blake Countess throughout the entire game, and I thought, you know, we got good production from the, from the from 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 them. We weren't hurt by anything in those situations. There's some things from a communication standpoint we need to do a better job of adjusting out some formations. Uh, but again, that when you're when you're still a young player, the, 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 you know those things are expected. We just got to coach through those situations. But very pleased. Well, how did the linebackers play last night? You know, solid. I think we, we lost our eyes a little bit on some run games, some misdirection things, and that was disappointing, the, the things we had actually prepared for. Uh, but, you know, again, I thought that uh, both guys have been productive, you know, and, and, and Trey. Trey Williams has done a nice job as well. And, and uh, so I think that, uh, you know, we're pretty pleased. I think we've had some steady improvement over the last two or three weeks. Well, you've seen this upcoming rivalry from both sides mm -hmm. as a player and as a coach here. How is it different than, than others? Well, it's just, you know, you know a lot of the, there's a lot of common uh, threads throughout, you know, uh, coaching staffs and, and uh, players and uh, a lot of familiarity with, between the two programs. So, uh, but it's a, it's a great rivalry. It's the oldest rivalry in the South and it's a, a, you know, a lot of fun to be a part of. And so, just looking forward to it. Looking forward to getting back home, you know, get back at, back at our stadium. Will, has, has the players kind of noticed that improvement you've seen since the bye week, or has that been part of the frustration that they haven't no, kind of seen? No, you know, I think, you know, I've tried to, you know, point to them some things that we've done as far as, you know, you know, uh, looking at score. You know, the number one thing is to win the game, and then the number two thing is scoring defense, you know, keeping somebody out of the end zone, which we've, we've made drastic improvements from a year ago. Um, you know, and, and to go back and, and point out some things, that we've done in a very positive manner and how we've improved in the run game and how we've improved as far as defending the pass and what we've done in the red zone the last two weeks. I mean, there, you know, turnovers. I mean, there's been a lot of things each week that we've been able to point to and they certainly see the results. It's certainly a lot easier to emphasize that after win. You know, you're able to point to those things and they get a little bit more self gratification from what they've accomplished because of that. But, you know, again, we even after the, you know, the tough defeats on the previous two weeks, we've showed them some things that we've done to, to improve because you know they need to see that because right now in our society it's it's a you know who, who can we blame you know we got to blame somebody and so you know to be able to point out some things that we did do in a positive manner but also be technical about the things we can improve on and they saw improvement from last night's game as well and it's you know to be able to see those things it's a positive deal well to, to that end on, on the personal side of coaching what's it like for you to walk in the locker room after a game and see those defensive guys smiling and, and enjoying one play well, there's like nothing that. like it i mean they're, they're nothing like number one competing in the arena and, and starting you know on the opponent tonight and that build through monday and then that practice on tuesday and you're, you're working the regular downs and the short yardage and goal line i mean i, I love the preparation of the week and then it hits it on Saturday afternoon, and you're in that arena, and you go out and you, you compete and play. It's you know it's modern day gladiators, you know, it's awesome. And you go out there and you go compete and lay your guts on the barbed wire for four quarters and see what happens and, and to, to be victorious in that locker room. There's no feeling like it. What are your uh, thoughts on Florida wrapping up the East? Oh, I'm extremely happy for those guys. Jim's done a fantastic job. And, really you know got things going offensively and uh, certainly they've continued to play at a very high level defensively and on special teams uh, but uh, really happy for those kids I've text back and forth with some of those guys Saturday and 
and I congrat congratulating those kids. So I'm, I'm extremely happy for those guys. And again, Jim's done a fantastic job. Was it surprising how fast they were able to turn no. it around? I said it was a good locker room when I left, and I meant it. The foundation was set. Carlton Davis, does he continue to get better? Yeah, what a great play on the post route. It was a well-thrown ball. I mean, it's a 50-50 ball and against a really good player. You know? So, again, there's nothing's really surprising us anymore. He's a, he's a very good football player. He does a nice job. Do one more. All right. <laughs>